All right, today's project is going to be, I want to mount this, uh, I got this spare tactical light here. And I want to mount this tactical light onto my bow stabilizer bar here. Going to mount it on this end of it. I use a lot longer stabilizer bar than most people because most people don't understand that uh, putting a little pug stabilizer bar on your bow just adds weight to the bow. A stabilizer bar is to make the bow fall forward after the shot. That way the arrow flies out of the arrow wrist smoothly without a problem. Anyways, I'm going to mount this tack light onto this. And I'm going to have to see how I'm going to do this because this come with a little bitty ring here for a Picatinny rail. Which I did find a spare one. Just a little two gripper here. That I'm looking at here how I need to mount this rascal to it. It fits it pretty good because it has a round indent on the back. But I'm going to have to see how to actually mount it to it. Because I want it to mount on there permanently. I don't want to have to screw with anything. I use my bow a lot of times, you know, uh, obviously walking in and out of the woods with an arrow knocked. And I would like a flashlight on there because I use it. I could also use it to see by as I'm walking. Wouldn't have to... Uh, worry about a headlamp so much and having to uh it'd be great just to have a spare flashlight in there anyway so i'm going to figure this out here there's my bow over there get my foot out the way uh, that feather up there needs fletching i've got the three vein fletcher out but i can't find the fletching glue so it'll have to wait anyways that's going to go on the uh stabilizer's going to go on the bow there and uh, right now I'm going to have to start trying to figure out what I'm going to have to do here. I will show more here in a second when I do figure this out. Alright, I figured out about how far up I want this on here. I went ahead and taped it on just temporarily. Um, I am going to, I figure, tap this out right here. Because this is, you know, up right here. I'm going to tap it out right here and one right here and put a drill it out and put some, uh, even through the uh, stabilizer bar and put some countersunk screws in that thing. But this here, I was sitting there playing with it. It will go on, but I need it to go on. Let me hold this with my foot. I need this to slide on much smoother than all that. Uh, I'm going to sit here and work this back and forth. So I can see exactly where it's scraping and hitting and all that and I can uh, you can pretty much see where it's scraping right around right there just light file that make it where it goes on real smooth they've got these cut right here so uh, one screw will hold it on this tiny tiny Picatinny rail all I'm gonna do is put it on about like that and that'll hold it just on this side it's a bow I mean it's not like it's recoil and all the crap and back this right here I want this so I can uh, take it on and off so I'm going to uh, either weld uh, some kind of thumb screw on the top or just get a thumb screw like that that way uh, I'll be able to leave it in there just mildly tighten put this rascal on or take it off if it starts raining or whatever See, that's a problem putting that on there butthole anyway be able to put it on there and screw it down with the thumb screw here that will of course hang out these holes have to hang up out of this hole I mean because it screws down in there but uh whatever you know something that can just tighten it right here just to clamp it on that's the plan so far and I will get it done I've got to uh like I said tap screws thumb screw there should be ready to go then and as far as this part goes the little uh, pressure switch I'll just uh, this has got a little of that uh, crap on there and I'll put the other uh, velcro on the bow probably on the handle and no you're not supposed to be grabbing the handle when you're shooting or whatever but like I said I'm mainly just going to use that for helping me get to my tree stand and get back out in the evening so anyway plan so far now finding the dead center of this piece here 
which I should mention this is just a little uh, a little rail here that's going to be going over here you can see it goes over the swivel stud on a rifle just to give it a little accessory but uh, finding the center holes on this is very important because once you drill it out you know it's over with and I have a pretty uh, specific way of doing this here to find a dead center Yep, that'll do. Alright, what we're doing here now is just trying to get dead center of this here. I'm going to go ahead and scribe it out. Now we're uh, just basically marking our dead center right here, right now, to uh, get it just uh, right for these. Uh, holes here we're fixing the drill. We'll go ahead and adjust this out a little bit more I see on this other one. Go ahead and scribe this side too because we're going to put one in the front. We're going to put one in the back. be our marks here we're going to go by adjusted it on the back uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put uh, like I said one screw in here one screw in here so I'm going to go ahead and drill these on out alright don't know if you can see that but we went ahead and punched it out here to uh, make it where the drill bit won't crawl on us all that much let's go ahead and get it mounted into the drill press here right, let's go ahead and get this first hole drilled Time to get out of the way of the camera. There she be. And the second hole. I won't be able to see because of the little accessory rail in the way, but. all done up. Now I opted to leave this uh, rubber on the back here that'll help when it gets mounted down uh, firmly to the stabilizer bar. Got our two holes drilled now on to the next step. Alright we got our two holes drilled here now. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I've made lines on the stabilizer bar. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back on here and we should be able to if I have a hammer I left it over there. Awesome this uh, scribe here we've done marked our uh, marks out on there there's no need to do it on this first one right here we've got uh, our center because we've been lining it up with the front and back I'm gonna go ahead and uh, punch down through here and drill out one hole gonna go ahead and thread it and put the screw in and then drill out the second hole that way we can have it all aligned up when we put it back on let's go ahead and get started on that Alright, got the holes drilled out, the one hole drilled out I should say on the stabilizer bar. Right now we're just threading this. And this is the back hole. I've marked it. And now let's go ahead and start finding the screw. I'm pretty sure I already found one, but you never know. Alright, we found us a couple of screws here that will do just fine. Actually, uh, they may need to be cut off, so we're going to go ahead and thread this hole in the stabilizer bar right quick. Then we'll go ahead and install this on the, uh, screw it on down so we can get our accurate marking to drill out here for the uh, second hole in our stabilizer bar. Alright, we got our uh, screw down right here. Now I'm going to make these uh, sit flush here in a little bit but it's time to uh, line this baby up and get it perfectly uh, in line squared up with this. I'm going to go ahead and punch down through the hole then, drill the second hole in the stabilizer bar and thread it and put our other screw in. Make sure she fits all nice and good. Then we'll work on this to make these uh, screw heads sit all the way down in there. Okay, that was a success. There's both screws in, but now we're going to go ahead and start taking them back. Oh yeah, it is 
you know, mounted down solid and all that bull crap. I'm going to go ahead and take these back on out now. And I want to uh, countersink these down inside of here. Just so it doesn't catch on anything, you know, clothes, whatever, as I'm trying to walk and see. The only problem uh, we got after we do that is just like I was saying earlier, the little thumb screw on the uh, light itself. That will be our only issue. I don't have one, but I may go ahead and uh, make it fit on there with a, a size I do have. We will see about that here in a second after we get this done. Here is a quick shot, not too sure exactly what you can see, of these bad boys sunk down in there. Can't really tell if you can see, <clears throat> but they are seated in there flush now. So now, time to go ahead and uh, mount them on down to here, and then we will uh, start working toward the next part of it, which is going to be the thumb screw to tighten on the spot and take off on the spot the actual light itself. Go ahead and flip this off, and we'll get started putting this down to here. Okay, there she is all mounted down. You can get an angle of that at some which way. It's mounted down. It's extremely solid. That won't be moving. Not like there's a lot of, uh, you know, kickback with a bow or anything to be vibrating it loose or whatnot. But uh, that's on there extremely good. Now time to mount the light and see if we can get a little quick screw uh, release on it. Okay. Here's our light all mounted down to the stabilizer bar. That's a very, very secure mount and all. Our problem's going to lie right here. We don't need uh, both of these little screws going through there. Not at all. We only need one to mount it down flush on there because, like I said, I want to be able to take it on and off. I'm going to have to probably uh, drill this out and tap it for whatever screw I can find. And that right now will be what I'm going to do is go ahead and start looking for a uh, some kind of thumb screw, something I can easily adjust and take on and off. Well, after looking around for a couple of hours, I cannot find what I need. I need a screw this long. I was wanting to have a little, uh, have it where I could adjust it. This is all I could find. It's huge and uh, it's nowhere near the right length I need. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, not go to the store and buy one, obviously. I'm going to grind this on down and uh, see if I can make it fit into the head of this one here. And then I will uh, permanently mount it into the head of this. Let me go ahead and get started on this. It's going to take a while. Alright, that's her. It ain't pretty, but it's going to go in there. I'm going to tack it in there permanently. Uh, for right now, uh, after that, obviously, I'm going to uh, paint it a uh, flat black. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and put that in there, and uh, I'll have, probably end up waiting for tomorrow to do that. It's freezing out here. Uh, after that, though, a little old paint on that to a uh, flat black, and she will be done. I'll show some final imageries of it already put together and on there. Well, there you have it. All mounted up to the stabilizer bar. Now I can have a tactical bow. Oh, phone's ringing. Okay, there you have it on the bow. Got it right here, and I got the pressure switch right here. Or I can turn it on and off when it's uh, I'm walking. And there you have it, tactical bow. Thanks for watching, everyone.